a Saturday evening nightcap at Rutgers University for the first annual Battle on the Bank. St. Peter's Prep 1-0 early in the 2018 season, toe-to-toe -to -toe with St. Joe's Prep from Philadelphia, ranked number 15 in the country. First drive for the Marauders, Masai Maynard gets to work early. There's his top man, Chase Jones, 14 yards and a first down. Maynard is going to cap off a four and a half minute, 88 yard drive with a dart from five yards out to Lehigh commit Ayer Asante. There it is, St. Peter's Prep leading seven zip with 5.39 left in the first. The Marauders have a fearless pass rush. Two drives later for St. Joe's, R.J. Oban is going to bully his way into the pocket. That's a 13-yard sack, and it puts St. Joe's deep in their own territory. It helps a three and out, and St. Peter's Prep leads 7-0 at the end of one. Second quarter action, St. Joe's driving deep in Marauder territory. Kyle McCord, look at this one. Johnny Freeman go up and get it, 19 yards out. That's going to knock things up going into the half. We're at 7-7 at the break. Now to the third quarter, and St. Peter's Prep starts feeding Anthony Summon. He powers the drive with three carries, and this five-yard scamper puts the Marauders on top, 14-7 early in the third quarter. And talk about feeding the hot hand. Anthony Summy came to play Saturday night. A minute and a half later, he breaks this thing wide open with a run right up the gut. Summy virtually untouched through the line, all the way into the zone from 94 yards out. That big play invigorates the St. Peter's Prep sidelines. Marauders lead 21-7. St. Peter's Prep had so much success running up the gut. Summy again, this one from nine yards out. After a Masai Maynard INT, St. Joe's drives the field and scores with a 20-yard strike from Kyle McCord to Jack Sutton. Extra point no good. St. Peter's Prep still leads 27-20 with 7.45 left. The St. Joe's defense forces another interception and they go right back to work on offense. Kobe Burrell, look at this, he's gonna carve up that Marauders defense. 27 yard touchdown late in the fourth. Two point conversion is good. So St. Joe's now with a miraculous fourth quarter comeback, they lead 28-27 with 3.17 left. So St. Peter's needs to put a drive together, but disaster strikes. Maynard, his third consecutive interception, right into the hands of Anthony Lennigan. The big man gets all the way down to the eight yard line. And St. Joe's Prep finds the pay dirt right away. Marcus Mason from eight yards out with the score. St. Joe's climbs out of the grave and now has an eight point lead. It's 35-27 with a minute and a half left in the game. So the Marauders need a miracle to get back on top, but they get a fourth and long and the pass is broken up. It's a heartbreaking turn of events for the Marauders as they squander a 27-14 lead going into the final frame. 35-27 is your final. That St. Joe's defense stood on its head in the fourth quarter, snagging three huge interceptions. St. Peter's Prep will need to right the ship during practice this week as they have a rematch on the horizon against Bergen Catholic set for Friday night in Caven Point. Reporting for Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Jay Cook.